Put your blows on the point because you're trying to yeah. pull it down to a sharp point. Roger, can you tell us a little bit about what the kids are doing right now? Uh, yeah, uh, we're making or forging S hooks, and uh, that uh, here's an example right here. Oh, great! This would be an example of what one might look like. Oh, nice! That's the finished product. Finished product. Okay. So, what step are we at right now? Uh, the initial. You want to draw the end down to a sharp point. Okay. Okay. So when you come back uh, with the thing hot, concentrate on the end. Okay. Uh, break a piece off of it. You basically see the angle I've got the hammer at. I, I work near the edge. I hit at that angle. I concentrate on the tip and then work back. I try to draw a smooth taper down to the tip. I work on one side until I get a lot of movement and then I turn it 90, work, go back 90. Okay. So, until you've got it to a square sharp point. Now, now, what's this here that the... This is a coal fire. Uh, the blower uh, puts the air in from below and up. Uh, the fire doesn't get all that hot without forcing in the air, but you start the blower and, and it, it gets very hot in there. Easily, it easily gets hot enough to set the metal on fire. That's right. Yeah, I saw that, actually. Yeah, you what, what, what's Fourth the... of July spark. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and your piece is ruined. <laughs> so are the kids actually going to make those S hooks, or are they just going to? We've had a couple make them. Oh, okay. Uh, but it's, it's taking long enough that it's going to be very hard for everybody. Okay, you're good. Go to it. You feel metal moving when you hit. Am I doing this right? Yeah, you're all okay. Probably want to work over about here. You want to work more at the edge than you were. The angle of your hammer, you need to lift it up and hit it more like at this angle. Okay. Yeah. And you could probably go back and get some more heat now.